Good morning, everybody. We're having a bit of fun here down in Claverham because the Wi-Fi isn't working. So um, I've tethered the iPad from the phone and we're keeping everything crossed. <laughs> it, it is going to work. But as you can see, these are the beautiful views across the countryside. And I've managed to uh, get upstairs in the second bedroom, which has got quite a, well, it's the strongest 4G that we can get here. Anyway, all these little challenges. So good morning and welcome to today's Healing Minute from Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary. I'm Tracy and I'm talking to you from the Friends Meeting House in Claverham in Somerset. But wherever you are, thank you for taking the time to join us, whether you're watching us live or on Catch Up. And an extra special warm welcome to any newbies that have joined us today. So the theme today is nothing happens by chance. And what better music to listen to at the beginning than Synchronicity by Alison. So we're going to start with some relaxation to prepare for the healing minute. I hope you're sitting somewhere comfortably, all wrapped up, feeling nice and warm and cosy. So do please shut your eyes if it's safe to do so. Park all thoughts to one side and clear your minds of any worries or concerns. Bring your awareness to the breath. Remember that the air we breathe, we share. It unifies us and connects all life on earth. We cannot see it, it's invisible. But without it, there'd be no life. So breathe in this invisible life force, this healing energy. Fill your lungs and feel the life it gives you. And as you breathe out, release all your personal stresses. Then take another deep breath in and then exhale, allowing it to flow through your body. Breathe down through your head, relax your eyes, your jaw, your neck. Breathe down through your shoulders to your arms, to your hands and out through your fingers. Now another deep breath, breathing all the way down through your body, all the way down through to your base, down your legs to your knees, down through to your feet, and out through your toes. Now visualize yourself in your special place or time on this fine spring day. And wherever you're enjoying a few minutes in your little bit of paradise, we'll begin our attunement. So we give thanks for gathered here today. We ask that this place be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As your crown chakra opens, you feel or imagine a column of pure white light filling your body. Then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra. You feel your connection to the universal source of pure unconditional love. 
balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth. And the sanctuary prayer. Heavenly Father, I surrender myself to the good influencing of your healing ministers and spirit, that through your divine healing power, the disharmonies within me might be overcome and the stresses of mind and body be eased and lessened day by day. Help me to adopt a more positive and helpful way of thought, bringing me into the closer harmony with those around me and with the divine healing purpose. And for those who are sick or in the darkness of despair, who do not know of the help that can reach them from spirit, I pray that awareness will come to them and that they too might experience the upliftment of spirit that can lead us all through harmony towards true health. May God bless you. Amen. And the great invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into human minds. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into human hearts. May the coming one return to earth. From the centre where the will of God is known, let purpose guide all little human wills, the purpose which the masters know and serve. And from the centre which we call the human race, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. And now for the distant healing. We ask now that all the people whose names we hold in the distant healing folder may receive healing for their highest good. We also request healing for their family, friends, and people for whom they've requested distant healing, and that includes all the animals as well. May they all be placed in the healing light and receive that which they're allowed to receive for their highest good. And our thanks and blessings for your help here today and to all our friends in spirit. Thank you so much, everybody. That was wonderful. Thank you. Our notices then for today. Do please join the choir this Thursday at the sanctuary. They're meeting at one o'clock in the chapel and also on Thursday in the afternoon at two o'clock join, John, join John on Zoom with his guided meditation. So do join John if you can for a calm and positive experience. Then on Friday, Tara will be at the chapel at 10.30 a.m. with the soothing sound of her gong bath. And the booking instructions to do that are on our Facebook, so do check that out. And Doreen will be at the sanctuary on Sunday at 2 o'clock with this month's Sunday service in the chapel. So do join her if you can and stop for some healing and a cuppa afterwards. 
And then next Monday, which unbelievably is the 1st of May, I can't believe it, where has April gone? We kick off Healing Awareness Week with the Open Healing um, Circle with Teresa on Zoom at 7.30pm. Watch out for several online events taking place that week as well. But all the details of our activities, ones that I've mentioned and ones in the future, are both on our Facebook and website, so do please check them all out. So the reading today is from the Healer magazine back in spring 2018. It's called Nothing Happens by Chance by Simon Bennett. you ever experienced coincidence so incredible that it left you stunned? If so, then you have taken a step in the fan in to the fantastic world of synchronicity. What happens in most people's lives is beyond their control. Think about it. No matter how carefully you design your life, you cannot know how that design will be affected by a single random event. One small detail can change everything. Carl Jung used the word synchronicity to describe the phenomenon of meaningful coincidence. This is where two or more seemingly unrelated events have the same or similar meaning or outcome. One such example is when you think of a friend and in the next moment they telephone you. The events are not actually connected, but we often interpret their timing as meaningful. The occurrences of these events are often interpreted as just mere coincidence, but quite often their synchronicity becomes quite fascinating as one event seems to lead to another. Within our personal spiritual development, we begin to become aware and use our intuition to guide us and begin to see how things are interconnected. Synchronistic events tend to become like signposts or confirmations that at some level we're being guided towards a particular goal or destiny, or in some cases being saved from something unpleasant. How often do we hear of people who are booked to board a particular aeroplane or ship and then some random, even bizarre event prevented them from making the journey, only later to find out that by failing to make their journey, they avoided being caught up in some sort of crash or disaster. Of course, these happenings don't have to be negative. My aunt's parents used to run a guest house. On the mantel in the living room were a pair of very ornate and unusual brass candlesticks, which she inherited when her parents passed away. More than 30 years later, my aunt took a new job with a local company and became friendly with one of the ladies she worked with. On visiting my aunt's house, the lady recognised the candlesticks. Cutting a long story short, it turned out that she and her husband had stayed in the guest house many years before. I'm also told that the sanctuary often hears of odd coincidences where someone is having a difficult time and then suddenly finds an old copy of, his, of this magazine and they'd forgotten that, that, that they had forgotten about, prompting them to contact the healers for help. Likewise, there was a recent story of a visitor who had heard of Harry Edwards as a child many years ago and had happened to drive past the end of the driveway just at a time when she needed help, prompting her to pay Burris Lee a visit. Synchronicity happens all around us. Maybe we should embrace these odd coincidences. And as Albert Einstein said, coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. There. Wonderful. And now for some music. Well, before the music, I thought I'd just read this. This is an extract from Light Upon the Path, the unpublished writings of Wesley Tudor Pole, the founder of Chalice Well. It is useful to remind those who seek for external signs and wonders 
that invention from that intervention from spiritual sources in human affairs never takes the form of spectacular apparitions but unfolds naturally ceaselessly, ceaselessly and in hidden ways yeah. beautifully written nearly forgot that right now let's play some lovely music this is called again synchronicity and it's by rising Appalachia. Let's put this up. I will turn the camera around so you can look at that lovely countryside. lovely juggling so if you need a chat or you need healing we're here for you so please do contact us in our usual way we offer a contact healing we do zoom telephone healing and uh, all the details are on our facebook and um, 
website page, so do check them out. So do join us on Wednesday when Gary will be taking the Healing Minute from Harry Edwards. And bye for now. And we're going to enjoy a few days down here in Claverham, giving people healing in this area that can't make it up to the sanctuary. And then we're doing a few days in the Quantox to do some walking. So take care, everybody. And embrace synchronicity. Bye bye for now. Bye.